Welcome to Classic Tanking, a series that shows more than just a warrior and druid can be your tank. Now, this video focuses on the Phantom Rogue tanking Razorfin Crawl. I hope you enjoy the video. We still can't hear you, Sarah. No, still nothing. I think I hear her, but she's like insanely quiet. Really? I think so. Sarah, you gotta fix this. We need you, we need to be able to hear you for the video. You're gonna upset all the hundreds of uh, Sarah Teen fans we have. You're gonna have the same problem. Then. Oh yeah, Justin. Justin's gonna have the same problem. What's the issue? Sarah can't talk. Sarah can talk just fine. I was just on the phone with her. Okay, Sarah, I can hear your game. Put push down the button. Did you mute your mic? Yeah, I can hear her in the game, too. <laughs> Are you taking your mage, Justin? Yeah, my priest isn't high enough. Wait, your priest isn't high enough? Yeah, he's only 26. Oh, yeah, that's way high. 26? Um, For a level 30 dungeon? Yeah, level 30. Things are still orange to you, but the level 30s are only in the very end of it. Like, it's weird when you go through it. Everything is, like, level 29, 28. But if you're taking your mage, it's good, because I'll take my rogue. I mean, I could take my warrior. What level is your warrior? 28. Oh, well, 28 is too low for this level 30 dungeon. Okay. I'm trying to get it. Do you want to take your warrior or your rogue? I mean, uh, mage or uh, priest. Any three are just fine. Is this a fun dungeon or is this not a fun dungeon? It's a different dungeon. That's are any of them going to be fun? What like... is your definition of fun? Like not hating every moment? Do you like this game? <laughs> if it was, I, think, I fun, need to know the I answer would. to that question in order to be able to answer your question. If this game is, if a game is fun, then I like it. Does that answer your question? <laughs> so, so no. Well, then my answer to you is going to be no. <laughs> so this game isn't fun, is what we've all kind of agreed this, on. This dungeon isn't fun. You're saying. Okay, so have you guys seen those freaking YouTube... I don't know, why are these like... You know, like the one guy who's like, Hey guys, did you know that you have anywhere from 5 to 20 pounds of toxic waste in your bowels? I, are you I, talking about like V-shreds or whatever? And then he's like, that, it sounds crazy, right? Did you know that the average adult has 5 to 20 pounds of toxic poop in their body at any given moment? It seems crazy, right? All that poop... <laughs> I do and that it's like I'm like yes I'm like yes it sounds absolutely insane like you're out of your mind dude and then like just now back to back I had some video up and it was like they always start with like it was a flashlight have you guys seen this one it's a flashlight it's like okay this flashlight uh they always do oh a veteran from an uh, engineer from the from the military. Oh, I saw that one. Yeah, he was like an army ranger engineer, and I'm like, what the fuck? They always, and then like the commercial right after that was another like, oh, a dentist. He was an engineer in the military, and he was like, you know what? This does, and he's like, he wants to put his benefits for the good of mankind, and they say the same thing. It's like a same formula, and this flashlight. It's like this flashlight. Um, can it's like look, and it's like showing the flashlight melt plastic bags it's like it melts plastic uh paper and even Wait, through... why would you want why would you oh, want yeah. a flashlight to melt the one plastic? that could cut through metal yes <laughs> <laughs> it shows it shows it's like it, it, can, it can even burn through metal it shows like a sheet plate of metal it burns through it i'm like it's a fucking bullshit Oh, yeah, like because, a problem, uh, though? yeah, that that would melt through the housing as well. Right? Yes. No, I mean, you leave a flashlight on, and you, there goes your house. <laughs> it sounds like someone does not know how to make a flashlight, and yeah, like they screwed up on the wiring really bad. It's not. And a, now they're trying not to a flashlight it. anymore. It's like a lightsaber or some bullshit. Like we're pulling an awful lot of everything in time. We're in bed. Oh, should I use this whole stone right away? No, don't use it. Because this is way too much. Yeah, what happened? We got we ran kept, off? kept having runners, I think. Do they res where I'm standing or where they died? Right where you where you're standing. Okay. So if you if you were to res somebody like right on a ledge and then they don't pay attention and then you res them and they run off of it, that's like 
one of the best things you can do with your your resin. That'd be a dick one on one. Did I pull these? Stonekeeper did. He was standing near the corner of the thing, and then they all came down after him. Is he low level or something? He's pretty low level for these mobs. He walked over to the tree trunk thing, and then everything jumped out of down for for him. So I would it, it would I'd be trading twelve attack power for six strength. Is that worth it? Twelve attack power for six strength. That is twelve yeah. attack power. Yeah, but as, it's not just attack power; it's also strength. There's like, a guy coming after. What's his face? Oh, Two guys, three guys, five guys. He he no, got up to the corner again and can... pulled everyone. So Enzio, Enzio is like, hey, you guys want to invite me? And I'm starting to think we might. I'm also inside of a tornado. You want to you wanna kick this guy? No way. <laughs> That's kind of mean. Well, I... Enzio says if we do kick him, he'll join us. So. Oh, I know. But I just, at the same time, it's not like the player base is very big. I don't want to just keep making enemies. Uh, and I told him that his level was fine. But it makes the fights more interesting, doesn't it? So is this what Alex wanted? Alex, if fights are more difficult, does that make it more interesting or less interesting? Uh, I mean, if it takes longer, it's less interesting. Fun comes from all the lovely people I get to play with. Yeah, but you usually hate playing with people. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's kill the Alkalite first. Our first challenge, Death Speaker Jargsba. Now this boss is joined by two adds. I decided against using sap. We focused on the two adds first, then went on to the boss. Now the only thing that this boss does that is special is use Dominate Mind. It takes control of one of your party members. Sarah with your CC. I mean, it is a viable strategy. It's called cheating. I can't wait for you to say that when we get into heroics. Oh, well, hero that's different. That's a whole nother expansion. There you go, it's not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, now we're Alright, gonna... focus down Justin. Do it, yeah, come on. Damn it, we almost got you. Wait, what are we killing those guys for? Just because I think he's going to aggro him probably at some point. Oh, he just shot these two guys up here. Yeah, we have two other guys coming. I right. interrupted, sorry. Ah. This is so annoying. Why does every single... It's the, Why do what all is it, the, the enemies the just... Waves? Yeah. Well, it's the mechanics that you wanted. Mechanics of not being able to play the game are so, not... So, you complain about no mechanics, and then when there are mechanics, you're like, this is bullshit. The mechanic is like a lose a turn in a, in a board uh, game. Uh, it's not that bad, but yes, I understand <laughs> what you're talking about, because yes, that's... I mean, we could go get the, the tuber quest. For Alex. Does it give something for that? No, but it makes the dungeon go like an extra hour. No, not <laughs> even. But yes, it makes it go longer, yes. And you get an escort through the entire fucking dungeon. Again? Or no, wait, that's not... That's not, that's not the, the tuber's quest, no. Oh, shit. Hey guys, so the skull is probably the best one to go for first. Is anyone not attacking no, the skull? Skull stoned again. Yeah, like everyone's not attacking. Well, okay, sorry. The warrior. We basically just have everyone attacking a different target, so it makes it a lot more difficult. Where's the other ad? It's dead. It died before oh. the skull. <laughs>
happen to find Earthcaller Halmgar. Now, this boss, if you could pull by yourself, would be pretty simple. And we did this fight a few times on different runs, and about halfway through the fight, she starts acting fairly strange. Um, Sean, you want to explain what's going on here? I don't know, just kill him, my heck. I don't care what he's doing, just kill him. Oh, damn, look at that, Alex. Yeah, that's actually really good for you. Do I not even have a headpiece? I no, probably I don't. don't. This is... So, yeah, that's a huge upgrade for you. Can you click on my character and see what his... His portrait reminds me of some supervillain or superhero movie character. I have no idea. Oh, sorry, Alex. I brought I mean, him over It kind there. of looks like Nighthawk from Mortal Kombat. I... I'm thinking more with the bandana thing. It looks like he's maybe Ultron, or I can't think of who Ultron. Like that. <laughs> what? That's a robot. <laughs> Not even close. Yeah. Agathalos the Raging. Now, this boss can hit fairly hard, but he shouldn't give you too much trouble as long as your party members are high enough level to actually hit the damn boar. D Rick. Look at you could wear you could buy all the like store mounts and then wear all of the whale. Alright guys, let's get on in here. This is the last boss right here. The final fight, Charla Razor Flank. Now this boss was quite a few levels higher than our party members, and we had three melee characters. She does a mean chain lightning attack, and also does an immune bubble every so often. And we thought maybe draining her mana would work really well, but uh, don't even bother. And she's going uh, she's gonna to be running out of mana at some point too. Yeah, we're definitely not killing her fast enough to mana. What will that mean? Sarah could even do drain mana. There we go, Sarah. No more chain lightnings. Okay, never mind. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Don't even bother about doing that, Sarah, because it doesn't seem to do anything. I didn't know that they could full, mana full get mana again. Yeah, that's crazy. Thanks for watching, everyone. The Phantom Rogue conquers another dungeon. And next up, this tank has a real challenge. We're heading into the city of Nomergon. Bye. That was actually the most involved RFK that I've done ever uh, since Classic came. Well, since ever, probably. Because we were all, like, you know, probably a couple lower level than we should have been. A mermaid? <laughs> you have nice hair. Yeah, I have blonde hair. Huh? <clears throat> You're hypnotized. <laughs> I put a spell on you. <sighs>
You're tired. La la la. La la la. Mm -hmm. Do you see my toenails? <laughs> All right, you ready? <laughs>